I'm Mike Tidwell, Executive Director of Chesapeake Climate Action Network. We are active in Maryland for the last 20 years promoting clean energy. Today is the culmination of 20 years of fight for clean energy and the fight against climate change. We're here at Sparrows Point where in the near future we're going to be manufacturing components for wind turbines, deploying them into the mid-Atlantic, creating clean energy for hundreds of thousands of households, and fighting climate change and sea level rise. So many Marylanders identify as environmental voters. They voted for Wes Moore. They voted for a General Assembly that could get the job done on climate. Today is the result of that. The bill signing today is going to change the future, not just for people here today, but for generations to come. We're all going to look back and remember April 2023 as a transformative year for offshore wind and the fight against climate change in the state of Maryland. This is going to trigger literally billions of dollars in gross domestic product for the state of Maryland over the next several decades. This is the future of our economy. We're gonna start making things again in Maryland. You know, it's been generations since companies have come and knocked on the door and said, Maryland, can we make things in your state? That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna make the turbines. We're gonna make the component parts. We're gonna use Maryland ships. We're gonna construct it in Maryland waters for Maryland citizens and for a Maryland future. We've been making progress for the last 10 years on offshore wind, but this is the biggest step that we've taken. This mandates over eight gigawatts of wind. It's gonna to lead to better transmission of that electricity from the mid-Atlantic to the load areas in Baltimore and suburban Maryland. Um, but it's not the end. We have a lot more to do. There are a lot more fights ahead, but we're setting the groundwork or the waterwork for what's to come.